Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, it's the next morning. We flipped the rod around. We machined this part, got that good. Machined that part, got that good. So now we're back to the threads. And uh, instead of uh, kicking out the, uh, the engagement each time because my thread dial is totally screwed up, I'm just gonna leave it engaged, stop the lathe at this point, and then back it up and then reverse the lathe coming back and then go back in and run it again. So first thing we want to do is make sure we still got 14 threads per inch. <clears throat> And we'll just keep running it in that way until we get the threads we want. And that is 14 threads per inch. Okay, so now take this back to zero. Yes. And we're going to add 10. We're going to put a little juice on it. <clears throat> Okay, we're engaged, we're set, we're ready to go. I think everything is good. Good. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we can take the the um, thread cutter out. Put it back in its case so it's well protected. And this part is done and much easier than I thought it would be because uh, I was all set up. I'm going to uh, take a file and just kiss that corner there. Looks good. Okay, so now we flip it around and deal with the other side. Okay, now this side. Oh, we got to get a link first.
Okay, this is the good side, and I think we should mark it just so we don't get screwed up. Good. And this is the not so good side. And we're going to go right to that edge right there. This looks a little long, but I see where the wear mark is right there. So I think we're in good shape. Somewhere in that general area. Uh, let's get it on that side of the button. Okay, so we've got just a little bit of threads that are going to show on this end, but I think we're going to be just fine because I'm seeing the wear marks way back here. And I think it's going to be just hunky dory. Just kind of eyeball this in right to there. And that's where we want to bring it down to this size. And this size is Nine thirty, and here we've got nine seven five, I believe, or nine eight five. So it's fairly close. Nine seven three. So we've got forty thousandths to take off. Let's go ahead and get it back in here. And we'll get you the camera back up where it belongs. Okay, so we've got ourselves centered. We're gonna move up to our line here, which will be right about there. All right, let's take a measurement from that and see what we come up with. And what is... All right, there's our measurement. And we are at 9, 25, 35, mm, almost 36. Let's just say 9, 36. And how much do we have to cut off here? Nine sixty-six. So we have exactly thirty thousandths to take off. Uh oh. Let's bring this back a little bit. Yeah. All right, thirty thousand. We'll 
take 20 and then a 10. I don't know. Those threads aren't going to disappear and we're going to sit about a quarter inch into those threads. I'm thinking it might be good to go ahead and yeah at least a quarter inch. Go ahead and weld that up so that we can turn it back down and it be the same. Now most of it is the strength of the 4140. This last little bit will be just mostly visual. All right, we're gonna see if we set up the welder and see what we can do. Okay, let's start welding. We're just gonna weld up this last three eighths of an inch or so. All right, we're going to let this cool down a bit and we'll be back. Jason's in the background making all kinds of racket with grinders and welders and everything else uh, doing another project. So um, what we're doing is trimming down the uh, diameter, taking off that last 10 thousandths I believe it was, and coming up with our, our shape, and then uh, you know, my lathe is old, so it has a bit of a taper. So we come in with a file and and take out that taper. And since we're here, uh, let's go ahead and clean up this whole shaft. Just take it 
all the way back. There we go. It'll make it look nice for the customer. sure what happened but somehow uh, about 20 segments disappeared on me and so we leap from the lathe over to cutting the splines and you know you're not going to get much explanation here because that was that all happened in uh, the videos that got lost so uh, yeah, as you can see I'm cutting the splines and we're moving ahead. Okay, so we've got our uh, hub set up and we need to drill <coughs> these six holes um, and uh, I think uh, we can just do it really without the rotary table but I wanted the rotary table because it had the 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 chuck and I could get center so I I think I want to bore this out just like like you know a half a thousands just barely kiss it in order to make this fit just a little bit better because it's 975 on this side and 977 on that side. So I'm not going to mess with any of this here, but by the time we get down to the bottom here, we'll be taking off a thou. So let's uh, see what we got. Get it squared up. Looks pretty good. Take our DRO to zero and pull this thing out. Alright, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bore that out and see what we come up with. as far down as we can go damn it oh it's okay we can just take the bit out and the one allen wrench I need of course is missing so we're using an alternate which is not a bad deal we get that in Tighten it up. Uh, 
bad drop our Allen back in. Make sure we're where we want to be. I think we are. Snug it down further. Get that small. as it goes. All right. And I guess we just turn it around. Okay. No, that's going to be worse. All right, maybe we go to the other, the other hole. And that's as far as that goes. Huh. Well, that's not fair. got a smaller head but uh, let's take the bit out well first before we do anything we gotta find out if we have a bit for this smaller head I'll be back <laughs> 